So we have men fellowship this uh, Saturday, coming Saturday, eight o'clock, right? Eight o'clock. What's that? Youth meeting. Youth meeting also there this Saturday. Time? 12. 12 o'clock youth meeting also there. Please, please send your young, young people, please, for, to attend youth meeting. Uh, that is going to bless them. <clears throat> so let's uh, look to the word of God. So, God's protection to us. Let us see the protection, what God has for us. God always, because He loves us and we belong to Him. And we are His possession and it means we are His property. And God knows how to protect His own. So today we want to see um, the protection what God kept for his children. So we can be safe from every attack of the enemy. <clears throat> so uh, the, the, because we are the children of God, we are not supposed to be attacked by the enemy. We are not supposed to be attacked by the enemy. We are the children of God. We are supposed to attack the enemy. We are supposed to attack the enemy. We are not supposed to be attacked by the enemy. God given an awesome protection for all his children. Hallelujah. Today let's look to that protection. Where, where we are coming out of that protection. Where we are exposed. Why, why enemy is claiming legal rights to attack us. Let us uh, uh, look to these things. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Um, you know, one, the points, there are points given. There are seven points. You can, you can note down those points, but I won't be um, teaching all those points today in this service. I might be just focusing on a few points in that. So the first point is that <clears throat> God's protection for us is and God wants us to be in the army, in his army. Being in the army. That is the first point, being in the army. And the uh, second point is following God's vision. And the third is the blood of Jesus. And the fourth, fighting the battles by being under the authority. Fifth is Obeying God's word. Sixth is dwelling in the secret place. Seventh is wearing full armor of God. Wearing full armor of God. So these are the seven important points every Christian must follow in order to protect themselves from the attacks of the enemy. Hallelujah. Okay? So, you know, I'm not talking about attacks means I'm not talking about the persecution we will face uh, because of the gospel we are preaching. I'm not talking about the persecution here. I'm talking about the attacks of the enemy. That's different from persecution. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> the, uh, so let's, uh, I, I want to focus on that um, uh, being in the army. You know, God, uh, if you see, everything is in the Bible. It, nothing, uh, our, if, if you want to know your protection, just go to the Bible. Go and just go into the word of God and find where God has written. You know, and uh, meditate the word of God. Take the word and meditate. You will receive revelation in the word. You know, um, God, see, when people were so attacked by that uh, Pharaoh in the Egypt uh, and that slavery, that hardship, the slavery is like a, they were living in fear actually. Every day is fear. 
like you know when you are in a slavery condition we live in fear all the time because we have to fear the the slave master the slave driver all the time he is going to beat us he is going to beat people like anything you have to serve that slave master he is going to give you hardship injustice whatever you have to take it that's why people live in fear that is slavery living in fear is this is slavery you know the um, uh, do you think uh, the family of pharaoh the children of pharaoh they live in fear no way no way even the small child in the pharaoh's house would never live in fear even the small one knows his authority the son of the king is so bold even he's a small he can go out he can do anything no one can touch him if if that comes into the notice if somebody is touching that is a small kid also or if someone said something to that kid also that's it those people gone if come, king comes to know that is the kind of protection god has given to us because jesus is our king we belong to his family we belong to the royal family doesn't matter even you are not matured christian but still you are a son that's what is even a small kid has lot of confidence boldness and protection because he belong to that royal family we should know who we are we should, we, are, we keep forgetting who we are and that's why we we all the time we get scared of this we get scared of that you know we need to know our place our authority in god we are sons of our god we are sons to our king the devil is under his feet the devil is under his feet and we are sons to that king hallelujah okay um here when people were like you know in that egypt and uh, they were uh, living in uh, fear and that time you know and uh, they were just groaning before god the cries reached to god and then god wanted to rescue them and because he wants to rescue them he sent moses to them <coughs> that is the protection god given to them who like what is the what is the protection is that ascending somebody god sent someone to you god sent moses to israel that is their protection they need to recognize their protection their protection is on the way moses came to them that is the way god sent protection to israelites who is moses god trained moses for this purpose to just to deliver the children of israel from the hardship from the power of the pharaoh god trained moses god anointed moses and god given the staff in his hand the staff represent the the, the anointing upon moses the authority that he carries that's how god sent moses to israelites that is the protection for them you know i i i know your story i know your story you know i i don't know that is just a story uh, is saying that you know uh, uh, some something shipwreck happened and the people were drowning in the water and this one man in the water crying out god help me god you are my helper god you help me you pull me out of this water and the, the rescue team arrived the rescue team arrived they're coming and they are just giving life jackets come on here is the life jacket just take this life jacket wear it wear it he said no 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 i'm not going to take any help from you my god is going to help my god is going to help then another uh, uh, came and the boat uh, arrived come and get into the boat get into the boat no 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 i'm not going to accept your uh, your thing my god is going to help he drowned what is this god is helping god is giving you protection god is bringing protection to you god is bringing solution in, into your life a person god is sending into your life accept the person you are accepting great protection in your life 
when israelites accepted moses as their leader that's how the protection established over them that day and then Mo moses was sent to pharaoh moses was sent to pharaoh right and you know moses was sent to pharaoh and then uh, do you think that anyone can if people can say israelites can say oh i don't need you i can go to pharaoh suppose i'm telling you if any person that day if any person try to enter into the palace of pharaoh gone no one has any guards they were slaves remember they were slaves a slave entering into the palace of a king gone his life gone that day finished even moses was scared to go to the pharaoh that's why when god is asking moses moses i'm sending you to pharaoh you speak to pharaoh what moses said who am i god immediately he said who am i people were so scared to face those days kings means what do you think exodus chapter exodus chapter 3 verse 11 You know, um, Moses said, "Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt?" Then next, next verse, please. Then so he said, "I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you, when you have brought the people." God is saying that I am with you. That is your protection. <laughs> i'm sending you i'm with you i see if i'm sending you i will come with you that's the protection god has given to moses that's why beloved like you know unless god send we have no protection we have no protect if god is sending god is going to come with us right see that's why you know when when people of israel i say that oh i don't need you moses then who is going to go to pharaoh then who is going to talk to pharaoh then because god god called moses to go and god is going to go with moses now because he told moses to go that god is <clears throat> calling certain people are anointed to fight the battles with principalities who is pharaoh who is pharaoh nothing but the principality there are some people god is training them god is preparing them to fight the battles to face principalities beloved so those people if god is sending into your life you better like you better accept those people that is your covering that is your protection and then you know um other thing when the children of israel you know when the children of israel they needed they need to stick with moses all the time all the time till the deliverance come beloved till the deliverance come that is a period that is a great period of struggle you know what the struggle we go through when you are fighting with the devil it is a struggle back and forth back and forth it's a struggle it's not losing it's 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 so tight it's not losing it's a struggle 400 years the, the pharaoh just controlled those people and now moses is going come on let my people go let my people and then he's just he's is about releasing and then again catching releasing and again he's saying that okay take this plague away i will release you i will let you go he's saying that word and then the moment when the plague lifted away he's like no 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 i'm not going to let you go that's the struggle when we fight sometimes with the principalities back and forth back don't get discouraged it looks like a, a, it's almost done it's look like a, okay 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 and now people getting better now you know but ah uh, next day again it looked like a getting better and again going back again and again getting better going back again. 
remember this is the struggle when we are fighting with the enemy it won't happen it takes time takes time like the the period moses was fighting all this time when moses was fighting the the children of israel need to stick they need to stick with each other they need to stick with the leader they need to just follow whatever the instructions been given to them through moses hallelujah right so that that that's how god given protection to them they need to stick together they need to stay together they need you know like god it's okay finally the deliverance came finally they got the deliverance you know and the, and the the reason the cause for the deliverance is they need to be ready to go to canaan they need to be ready to go to canaan the the reason why moses was sent to them is okay if you are willing to go to canaan with me this deliverance god sent is for you why why actually god sent moses to them to go to canaan not to just end up in the wilderness beloved today god is calling you with a purpose if you are willing to serve the purpose of god the deliverance is for sure the deliverance is for sure to everybody those who are willing to serve the purpose of god in your life you are saved because of that purpose only only because of if 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 the children of israel if anybody would have said that day no 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 i don't want to go to canaan i don't want to go to canaan but i don't want to be in egypt though i don't want this slavery but i don't want to go to canaan then moses would have said i'm sorry i'm not the right person for you then i cannot deliver you because i'm sent by god only to take you to canaan i have no other mission to take you to any other way only to canaan beloved today we are born again only for that purpose remember if you are willing to be in the kingdom of god then there is a deliverance for you to be delivered from the kingdom of darkness we can be delivered from the kingdom of the devil kingdom of the darkness kingdom of the torture only if you want to be in the kingdom of god but not in the middle in between i want to live means sorry there is no deliverance for anybody right yes god the the, the reason why you know adam fell from the kingdom god wanted to give a second chance to adam descendants uh, to come back to the kingdom that's the reason jesus has come to give a second chance to adam descendants we are all adamic descendants yes and then so that is the protection for us just you know that so since the time they delivered they delivered from egypt they were just they were they, they need to stay together they need to walk together as an army as an army and in front moses and then in front of moses god god was taking them god was walking with them and moses is leading them moses god is speaking to moses giving instruction moses giving instructions to the crowd the army army is following behind that is the way beloved as long as you stick to the crowd as long as you stick to the crowd as long as you stick to the army you are safe you are protected you are safe you are protected hallelujah right see that that's what they were uh, suppose if, if when you are uh, walking with the army and in between you might if you say that you know what i just want to spend some time here this place is so nice you know this place is so beautiful let me just sit here have a nice time army gone and you will be left 
left behind. You will be left. Is that video there? No? You know, I, actually, I have a video. I saw that um, in the TV, I saw that, you know, the lion uh, is just waiting for one deer in, in that forest. It's just hiding behind the bush and waiting just to jump over it. Just one small, thin deer was there, you know, and, and all others gone like that, you know. When, when you think that sometime, oh, let me have some time, just enjoy my time here, personal time. You know, I, I want to have my personal time. I want to be left out. I want to be left alone. You know, okay, if you are left alone, we all go. We all gone. Be alone there. And when you are be alone, that's when the enemy comes, beloved. That's when the enemy comes. Actually, there's a, another video also I saw, you know, one... Um, when the young uh, buffalo, I think buffalo, the young uh, the lion already caught the buffalo, already caught it. But you know the group of buffalo saw it. The many they came all together. They came and they chased the lion away. Finally, that was rescued. The lion actually ran away by seeing so many buffaloes. You know, so that's uh, how actually that's the protection for us. Stay together. Just be with the army. Don't be left out. And don't be left behind. And the enemy is always, you know, distract us. Uh, distract us and, like, you know, not to see forward, not to see the destiny. Destiny is canon. We have to go to the canon. And in between, enemy comes and distract our mind. Focus, instead of focusing on the vision, focusing on here, focusing on that, and focusing on this. And, and in the meantime, in the meantime, other people moved forward. And you are left out. That's when the attacks come. I will tell you today, the attacks, the, the, because the attacks, why they come? When we take our focus off from the vision, that's when the problems come. That's why I said that following the vision is our protection, actually. You know, uh, I was just blessed by um, Hanika, uh, Hanika's words. Uh, uh, Lena was telling me, you know, they were uh, very shortly they were going to India, and uh, Hanika was uh, uh, so scared of uh, flight now, you know, because she's growing up, she's getting all the knowledge and she's getting all the thoughts and uh, uh, fears about uh, flight and all that, and he was, she was saying, "Mom, uh, you know, it was going to happen when we are on the, you know, uh, so all that she is telling immediately, you know, what we, Lena said to Hanika." Lena said, is that, you know, uh, we have a vision. Because we have a vision, God is not going to let anything happen to us till our vision is fulfilled. That's it. That child got it immediately. That stick with her. And I really felt very good about it. You know, that child in the future never going to be scared of anything because every time with the fear comes she remembers that she has a vision what lena did that she planted the seed of the vision in that young heart that's what that friday i was telling to raise up kingdom families put the seeds of vision in your children heart from now onwards Remember all the time, nothing going to happen till the vision is full. I have a vision. I'm living for a vision. As that's why embrace the vision first. Embrace the vision. Embrace that call, calling given to, you know, what is the vision of our church? Can you tell me? Can you have clarity about the vision? What is the vision? I'm too much talking about vision, but... Do you know what's the vision of this church? The vision is that, you know, bringing people, like people into the kingdom of God, delivering them from the kingdom of darkness and bringing them into the kingdom of God. If you can make people 
to be obedient to lord jesus kingdom has come upon their lives if you can make people just to make jesus as the lord over everything not doing their own will doing the will of god if you can make that to happen in people lives they are in the kingdom of god they are in the kingdom of god they were delivered from the kingdom of darkness that is the vision god has given to us kingdom vision god has given to us like why we are telling that bringing kingdom into cities means what it's not just one person two person beloved the city we want city mass people all over all over everybody in the city we want them to be in the kingdom that's why today we are praying for cities we are focusing on cities now that is the vision that that vision who given that vision christ that is the vision of jesus he passed it on to us he passed it on to the church christ vision bringing kingdom upon this earth there is no other vision when we follow the vision embrace the vision embrace it and live for it and teach your children about the vision where we are going i'm telling you if you have a vision every decision what you make you know how to rule your life if you are going you know it is like a if you know where you are going you would be able to tell others where to go right in the in the family head of the family knows where he is going he would be able to lead the family in that direction if you don't know where you are going how you will be able to lead others where to go do you know where you are going and which direction we are going what is the vision what is the goal for you this is the goal this is the destiny for us we are going here see whenever you have a vision you will tell you know how to rule your family accordingly you will rule your family accordingly you set up priorities in your family accordingly you set up rules and laws in your family to follow your for your children to follow the vision hallelujah you will set boundaries for your family you will set rules for your family you know actually a man if a man has a vision automatically wife submit to the vision and children also submit to the parents because of the vision the parents have i will tell you you know that, that is how submission comes you know abraham had a vision god given abraham you leave this and go to canaan i will bless you in canaan and this is a rich place for you and i'll give you many many inheritance in canaan for you you go sarah submitted to his husband why because sarah knew my husband heard from god better i follow my husband i will be safe with him i will be safe because i know where he is going i know where he is taking me i will be safe if i go with him beloved they will have a clear goal wives is going to submit to husband because husband is going in the right direction in the right direction if i trust my husband if i follow my husband i'm not going to be lost i'm going to be safe i am telling you people who have a vision people who have a vision children are watching you just what happened to hanika when you have a vision when you talk it's it will spill it will spill when you are full of vision everything what you do because of the vision you are only living for your, your breath of whole life will become your vision vision every cell you poke every drop of blood will cry out vision vision god given me purpose god given me calling god given me destiny vision vision you know what what happens 
when you talk vision comes out when you sit vision comes out when you go when you do vision comes out vision 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 it spills it you are full of vision that's what happened lena talking to hanika that way you know what children will also at one point children will catch the vision and they will also follow the vision visionary can make many visionaries a visionary can make a family a visionary family hallelujah yes then next <laughs> blood of jesus i'm going to speak about blood of jesus you know uh, the blood of jesus will cover us right here god said to moses god said to uh, moses moses the lamb for every family i choose a lamb for every family right and sacrifice that lamb and take the blood and apply that blood at the door post of that house everybody's house door post you need to be applied with the blood you know then god said you better stay inside the house don't come out of the house when i'm judging the egypt and um, the the spirit of the angel of death is going to come and is going to kill all the first born but you better stay you better stay inside the house that is the protection card beloved if suppose if somebody comes out of the house somebody coming out of the house who is responsible for that who is responsible for that destruction god is not responsible because god already said about it not to come out stay inside the house right god kept protection for us if we don't follow those instructions we will become responsible for our own destruction but we cannot blame god god why didn't you protect me if we cannot ask god such question because he already given us instructions what to do we just have to follow his instructions the instructions is that stay inside the house don't come out and this death spirit is not going to come inside the house because when it sees the blood over the door post it will pass away that's why it's called passover lamb right so what is was staying inside the house stay we need to stay inside the house you know what what is, when you stay inside the house the blood of jesus is going to cover us the blood of jesus is going to cover us you know what what all i'm talking about what is the house we represent house of god what is the house of god what is the army of god what is the temple of god what all these represent today house of god temple of god and what else army of god this all represent the church kingdom of god church god god kept a system of the kingdom you know in the church god's way of ruling is set up in the church the system of god's ruling the kingdom that is the kingdom of god we need to be in the church in order to be protected we need to be you know we can say we cannot say that just going come to the church is not uh, being in the church it's not being in the army it's not being in the house of god just not just coming we need to just you know we need to just get connected to the vision connecting even you don't come that's fine even you don't come you have a work one day you know i needed to go there i needed to go here that's okay as long as you know i'm working today i cannot come that's fine as long as your heart is connected to the vision of the church you are the part of the church you are the part of the church you know it is not important just physically you being here it is important that the, your heart need to get connect to the vision that's what it is 
being in the house of god being in the army of god is connected to the vision if church is if church is going towards the vision if you are going towards this route then we are not with the vision of the church you know if you say that i have my personal vision i have my personal dream i need to follow my own dream i it means uh, one direction everybody is walking and you alone are walking towards another direction you end up going alone army is not going to come with you we better follow keep oneness oneness with the church oneness we need to come into unity oneness with the vision of the church hallelujah and we need to we should not focus on our own issues our own problems beloved we need to focus on the vision of the church your god god has a way god made a way god made a way he loves you he loves you he loves your children he loves your spouses he loves everything about you he loves everything every detail in your life he made a way he made a way how to how to rescue your people how to rescue your children he made a way how to bless you you don't need to figure out things you don't need to think about uh, becoming worry anxious god knows everything about you in in and out beloved the point is here the point is here god wants us to focus the vision and god wants us to follow the vision god made a way for everything else in your life don't you think that when israelites were following the vision when israelites were following moses did anything they lacked in their life did not god provided everything god provided everything did you, did you not see in the word that the 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 sandals were not worn out that the the clothes were not become tight and not just worn out how well they were taken care of when they wanted food even there is no food supernaturally they were provided food supernaturally they were provided water and supernaturally they were protected from egyptians by separating the red sea how wonderfully god provided everything what they needed in their life how wonderfully god provided why because they were following the vision they were moving towards canaan hallelujah i want to come back to the blood of jesus again we need to be in the house of the lord for the blood to cover us blood of jesus to cover us what does it mean like you know like i will tell you something that that is protection god's protection is his blood blood of jesus is our protection the blood will cover us when we repent the blood will cover us when we repent you know i just want to tell you this story of prodigal son story you know the story prodigal son story you know this the the what is that the son that son was under the authority of the father and he was not liking the authority of the father the reason why he wants to leave the house because he was not happy by being under father authority because he wants to have his own freedom he wants to have his own will because when he is under the father's will he all, always has to do father's will he cannot do his will right when we are under father's will we always supposed to do father will only we cannot have our own will anymore this boy wanted to leave the house is it not sounding something familiar today why our children always tell us that we want to move out we want to move out we want to go out we want to stay separate you know why people say that they don't like 
they don't like the rules in the house they don't like those rules the set up by the father set up by the parents in the house that's why people want to move out many people many i know many children want to move out because of that reason the prodigal son exactly did the same thing because he has to obey father all the time father is doing this father is telling this father is telling this he wants to have his own way that's the reason he said that father give me my money i will go because i am 30 years old now i have i got the legal rights to get your inheritance give me my money. it means he was just waiting for 30 years to come so that he can get his portion of money back and then he got his money and then he left the home what i want you to see is here beloved whenever we want to have our own will the problems will come i'm telling you attacks will come when we want to have our own will that is not safe for us doing father's will is a protection for all of us doing father's will is a joy you receive joy in that doing father's will is a great blessing for you you will be blessed immensely doing our own will is a dangerous thing when prodigal son left father's house and gone away remember one thing he did not leave the house with the intention of committing sin that was not his intention beloved don't get me wrong that was not his intention to commit sin he just seeking freedom he just seeking his own will not to commit sin freedom that is dangerous yes he got freedom yes he got freedom when he moved he got freedom but you know what happened when the when he he is exposed to the world now he is all over exposed to the world so many attractions in the world now this that this satan is ready to tempt him for with everything drinking prostitution so many things you just go out and see so many things available to you for you to have a pleasure what happened to prodigal son he even though i'm telling you even though he doesn't want to commit sin maybe inside of his heart he was feeling bad no 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 i should not do these things because he was never taught that way he was never raised that way because he had a very good father i'm sure he was never raised up that way he knows inside of his heart no no this is wrong to do but beloved he was helpless to resist temptations that's what happens when we are on our own we don't have any power to resist any temptation we will get into that we yield to the enemy that's why the word of god says that's why the word of god says submit to god and resist the devil he will flee from you if we are not under submission if we are not under submission we cannot resist the devil the devil comes with such a pressure beloved pressure comes and you cannot resist the pressure anymore when we submit to god you have power to resist devil and his temptations you know what we have to submit to every authority that instituted by god i'm not just saying authority in the church everywhere god put a system of authorities this whole system of authority is just to protect all people in the country the whole network the whole system that's why you know the bible says where it is says romans um, romans chapter romans chapter 13 i think 
Romans chapter 13 verse 1. Yes, Romans chapter 13 verse 1. This whole system of authority system, God set it up just to protect. I'm talking about protection for believers. You know, it says that let every soul, let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority, resists the ordinance of God. And those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. Every authority in this country today is just to protect all of us today. God put so many authorities. I don't know. You don't need to look at the person, beloved. Who, who is in the authority position? That is not important. What is important? The office of authority. That office of authority is appointed by God. That office is appointed by God. Could be people, could be appointed by people. You know, in the authorities could be appointed, elected by people. But that's not important. That office is instituted by God. These things, God set it to protect people. We should never disobey any kind of authority, even in the home also. Wives, children, everybody under the subjection of head of the family. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, God set up this thing, system. Hallelujah. That is where our protection comes, right? So then, then you know, in the prodigal son story again. So he could not resist temptations and he fell into the sin and then, and then he came to senses and he realized that, he realized it, you know, when I was under my father, everything was going good in my life. All these problems started. The origin for all the problems, he realized. Coming under out of the authority of my father is the cause of every problem. And that's why he went back to the authority again. Beloved, many times that is the true repentance from God. A true repentance from God is always not just repenting about the consequences of your choices. Repent about the choices you made. In other words, I say that we need to repent about coming, stepping out of the authority more than repenting about the consequences, what happened to you. Maybe you, you, go, you fell into temptation. Maybe you committed sin. Today, most of the Christians repent about the sin only, but they're not repenting about the, the first place. We stepped out of the authority. That caused us to fall into temptations. You know, that's why prodigal son came back. That is the true repentance, beloved. He was not just telling, Father, I dr drank. Oh, Father, I did this. I did this. Forgive me. That was not his point there. What point he was making is very clear. Father, I just want to be in your house again. If not as a son, let me be as a servant. But the point is that I want to be, stay under your authority. That is the true repentance today. All of us need to make that choice, that decision today is that Yes, I committed many sins. Yes, I did that. Yes, I did this. God, I want to be under your authority. I want to stay under your authority. I don't want to be on my own. I don't want to live an independent life. I want to be under you. That's the true repentance we can do for us to be protected. Hallelujah. 
than fighting the battles. That's what it is. When you are inside the house of the Lord, the blood of Jesus, when you are under the authority of God, the blood of Jesus will wash you, will cover you. The blood of Jesus is applied on the doorpost of that house. Blood of Jesus, forever unending, it is fountain flowing for us. The blood unending, flowing for us. When we stay under the authority of God, every sin can be washed away by the blood of Jesus. You might think that, oh, I committed terrible sin. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as you stay under his roof, his authority, the blood can wash you away every sin. Forever the blood is flowing for you. And that is your protection today. Hallelujah. Right? And then fighting the battles by being under the authority. Okay, I'm going to just say one more thing. Dwelling in the secret place. Dwelling in the secret place. You know, 91 Psalms, it speaks about 91 Psalms, Psalm 91 verse 1. Psalm 91 verse 1. The one who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, he was speaking about secret place. The one who dwell, live in the secret place, is living under the protection, shadow of Almighty God. What is the secret place here? Secret place is there. The most holy place of God. I was talking most holy place of God. It means what? Having the presence of God. Living in the presence of God. You living in the presence of God. You have mighty protection. You have your prayer life. Don't just go away just by being on, in, in the courtyard, spending some time in the courtyard, spending some time in the holy place and just go away, you are not entered into the most holy place yet. You have not entered. The presence of God is in the most holy place. Unless you reach the presence of God and you are not in the secret place of God yet. But the protection comes there from there. The most holy place, God, I've been telling you that our body is, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. In our body, heart and soul and body, heart, soul and body, that is means spirit, soul and body, we are three. That is courtyard, holy place, most holy place. You know what? Most holy place is the heart. That's where the presence of God lives. Holy Spirit lives in your heart. It's not that holy place means entering into some place. No. Or praying, praying, entering in. No. In your heart. In your heart. Holy Spirit God lives inside of your heart. That's the reason you must get into the heart. Heart of worship. We need to put your heart, intentions, your desires, your motives need to be right. You keep your heart clean. That's when you start feeling the presence of God. That's why I said, always said that if your heart is pricking in something, if your conscience is not right, it means the presence of God is getting disturbed inside of you. We need to keep our heart clean in order to have the presence of God. That is the secret place. 
when we repent enter into the secret place that's where you have protection from god you can fight all the battles in the presence of god let's stand sharabakara bandarabala karamandarabala karamandarabala sharabakara urabakara mandarabala sharabakara mandarabala karamandarabala sya lord jesus lord we thank you lord we thank you lord for this word lord jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Hora bashi kara mandara ba kara mandara bala shara bala kara mandara pa 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 shara ba kara mandara bala kara mandara bala shara ba kara mandara bala kara mandara bala shara raba kara mandara basi andara ba kara mandara bala kara mandara ba kara shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara bala kara shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala shara ho raba si andara ba kara mandara ba kara mandara bala shara bala kara shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala si andara bala kara shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara bala kara shara ba kara ba kara kara mandara ba pa 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 shara ba kara mandara ba kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara bala kara shara bala kara mandara bala shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara shara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala shara bala kara ba kara ba kara aba ka ba ka ba kara mandara bala kara mandara bala kara mandara bala sha ho ra ba si andara ba kara mandara ba kara mandara bala shara ba kara ba kara mandara bala kara ho ra ba ka ba ka ba ka ba ka ba ka ba kara ba kara mandara ba kara bala kara ho ra ba si andara ashyandara balakara mandara balakara mandara balakara bakara ba ora bashyandara balasyandara balakara mandara balasya ora bashyanda thank you lord lord i pray that let everyone lord be planted lord in the vision of you god the vision which you have given to us lord let all of us be in the vision lord jesus lord you connect to lord all of us together lord i pray that lord jesus we want to follow lord your destiny god and your goal lord even our families lord prepare all our families for this vision lord jesus oh rabba siyanda rabba kara lord we want to focus on that lord jesus lord forgive us all our distractions lord forgive us for not taking the vision seriously lord forgive us for wasting our time lord jesus oh rabba sharaba kara mandara balasya lord forgive us for stepping out of the authorities lord jesus at and lord we want to come back lord to under your authority lord jesus lord we want to do your will not our own will lord jesus we want to be under you god under you god lord every authority which you have given to us in our life lord we will embrace that lord we will we will accept that lord we will we will lord we will follow that lord jesus all the instructions lord we will follow that lord jesus lord forgive us lord if there is anything that lord that we have done in the past lord jesus lord we commit all of us lord into your hands lord jesus in jesus name we pray amen amen
sunsets free.